Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some romances with characters who have tails. This is a very specific video, I know, but sometimes I love a good tail. I love a good tail in a romance book. And yeah, most of these are either like alien or monster or paranormal related in some way. I, I love like, I love tail play. <laughs> It's really fun to read about in a monster alien romance. Um, so yeah, here are 10 romances where the hero has a tail and they probably use it in some aspects, okay? First I have The Quarry Master by Amanda Milo. This one is a grumpy sunshine romance. The hero is this alien creature you see on the cover and he hates humans. He thinks they're so lazy because he's trying to build this facility for humans on this planet and humans are supposed to be helping him and they just wanna take breaks and sit and chat and he's like, no, we gotta get things done. And he feels like they complain all the freaking time. He's like, I hate humans. But then he meets our heroine who has a different work ethic compared to all of her species. And um, he is very intrigued by her. She is also a person with a limb difference. She only has one arm. And the hero is like, oh my gosh, even with just one arm, she's like killing it. Like she's doing way better than everyone with two. Like what are these people doing? They're doing nothing. <laughs> so he cannot stand humans except for this one woman. And they actually end up falling for each other. It's a grumpy sunshine room. The heroine is so stick and funny. I love her. The hero does have a tail and it is red. Okay. We also have Stolen by an Alien by Amanda Milo. This is the first book in the series. And this one, the hero's tail is kind of, I think like, kind of like his back. I think it has like spikes on it if I'm not mistaken. Um, but this one, the hero saves the heroine from being like molested after like a um, slave auction block. And he believes that she is some version of an alien royalty. And there's a language barrier. They don't understand each other, but he is adamant that he's going to save her and return her to her people. But he doesn't know like those are the wrong people. Like she's not royalty. She's just a human. <laughs> So it's actually really sweet and really cute. Next I have, I married a Naga by Regine Abel. And like the tail part in here, like it's like a snake tail because he's a Naga creature. His lower half is a snake. Well, his top half is too, but like there's like humanoid abs, right? <laughs> so, but like his whole bottom half is like snake. So um, there's like a rattle, I think on the end of his tail too. This romance takes place on a planet that is not earth. It's the planet where our hero is from. What's his name again? Cesaro, Cesaro is our hero. Um, Serena is our heroine, she's a human woman and she's been sent to this planet to eliminate an animal population that is that has become overpopulated. Cesaro and his people have told her and the humans like, hey, you can kill as many of these animals as you want because they're overpopulating the planet right now. You have to stand, stay in this certain area of the land. If you go past this point, like we will kill you. And the heroine actually saves the life of one of Cesaro's people, a child, um, because she's actually about to get run down by one of the animals she's sent to kill. She saves this child's life, but she ends up crossing that barrier. The hero decides, okay, well, I don't think she is due to die, but she did break our one and only rule that we had. So she's actually gonna stay on the planet and be my wife instead. So she's having to integrate into Cesaro and his people because they're all Naga creatures and the way that they live is very different from her own. And the hero is like smitten with her right from the get go. That's why he gave the different alternative to dying to marry him because he wanted her. But his tale does come into play at some points in this book. Sweet Vengeance by Viano Onimo is next. And this one's actually a demon romance. This one's paranormal takes place on earth. The heroine was sexually assaulted by a coworker and she is like set to make his life a living hell wants revenge to the most ultimate degree. So she ends up summoning a demon who is our hero. The moment that he senses her like need and lust for vengeance he just becomes like enthralled by her he's like oh my gosh i'm obsessed with this woman <laughs> anyway he helps her enact her plan to make this man who ruined her life absolutely insane like she wants him to think he's going crazy and then kill him in the end so he helps her with that and he loves it he has this tail by the way he's like this purpley shade i love him we have a whole series um this is the leviathan fitness series by ashley bennett i only own book number three but muscles and monsters is the first book and tentacles and triathlons is the second one um so each one has like kind of like a tail i would say book number two maybe not as much um he kind of has like a billion tails because he's a kraken and he has like a bunch of tentacles um so maybe i would say more so book one and book three well book three <laughs> have tails in it. Number one is so cute. Atlas is this monster wolf creature and he ends up meeting our heroine on the sidewalk when um, the cake that she baked, one of the layers ends up like falling on the sidewalk in front of him. He helps her clean it up and his tail 
is like giving away how interested he is. He just keeps on like, like moving, <laughs> like keeps on moving. And he's like basically trying to like grip it, be like, stop moving. It has a mind of its own. And he is like so into her and um, she is very into him. He owns the gym down the street from her bakery and she goes into the fitness center. So the hero becomes her personal trainer and they're in close proximity and his tail like gets into the works at some points. It's really cute. Um, and then we have mantras and minotaurs and the hero is a minotaur. The heroine is actually the mother to the heroine from book number one. Um, they are both single parents, they're older and they actually match on a dating app, but they have a long distance relationship. And so when they're together, it's absolutely fire because they haven't been in forest parks because they haven't been together physically in a while. So I love this one too. He does have a tail. It's actually really cute. Next up, Taken to Braxia by Elizabeth Stevens. This one's an alien romance. Our heroine lives on this moon that is orbiting the planet Braxia. The hero is actually the king of that planet and he realizes that supplies are going to this moon it's like why are supplies going to this moon this moon doesn't have anything on it he goes to visit it little does he know like there's an illegal like slave colony living there and he's like this is a, a bizarre why is this happening and then he ends up sending his fated mate on the planet he's like oh my gosh my fated mate is here on a slave planet and he ends up tracking her down and things go from there she's absolutely terrified of him because all she's known is like this alien race comes to the planet and abuses her and her people he takes her back to Varaxia to be with him and is adamant that he's going to like convince her that he is safe and they're meant to be together and that she should want to be with him but the heroine is very 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 stubborn <laughs> mama and the alien warrior by honey phillips is next this one is like a snake alien creature guy lizard guy i don't really know you can kind of see on the cover a little bit um the heroine actually is a single mother and runs this home for teenage um and young women who don't have anywhere else to go when they have kids and are pregnant her and all the girls the babies in the house and uh being beamed up into a spaceship by some evil aliens and the hero and his people end up saving her and even though he knows from the moment that he sees her oh my gosh this is my fate and mate he promised her that he would take her and her women home so he's like trying to grapple with like how do i let go of my fate and mate even though i promised her i would let her and her women back home to earth it's a really sweet like very short alien romance and he has like this like snake lizard tail thing <laughs> i obviously have to mention the horror kings of dakar series by zoe draven the whole series i do have the whole series but the dog has to sleep in my lap so i can't go get it it's if they're sitting up there each book in the series is about a character with a tail this whole series takes place on a planet called um dakar and the names of the planet are called the dakari and they are humanoids they basically look like us except they have um like gold skin either gold or red eyes um, and they have tails and their tails get into some mischief in the series. I love it. <laughs> the first book is Captive of the Horde King and I love that one so much. It gives very much like Cal Drogo and Khaleesi vibes. So each alien man in the series, each book has a alien man with a tail and even the last book in the series might have a heroine with a tail maybe <laughs> but i love these books so much they're so worth the hype if you have not read them yet and you love alien romance you need to pick them up or if you want to get into alien romance and you love fantasy romance like these read very much like a fantasy series next is the beast by jenna Snow. this is essentially beauty and the beast but the beast doesn't turn into a man <laughs> There is no like curse put on him. He just wants Belle. He actually is like watching and kind of stalking Belle for a while. He lives in the castle by himself, right? And in his beast form, he ends up seeing Belle in the town nearby and kind of like stalks her and then figures out that her dad is in some debt. He decides to blackmail her dad and is like, give me your daughter and I will let you go. You know what I mean? So <laughs> he gives his daughter to the beast and it's definitely being the beast, but it is hotter. Okay, and it is more monstrous because he does not shift into a man. <laughs> and lastly, I have Mistlefoe by Kimberly Lemming. This is a little novella that she's written that takes place kind of like in wintry time on this fantasy world. And the heroine and hero have to fake date or be fake mates for a specific reason. I don't want to spoil it because it is kind of short. Um, but he's this like fox shifter creature thing who has like a cute little tail. He's really cute. But yeah, they have to be fake mates. 
and it's actually really funny it's so funny anyways there you have it those are 10 romances with magical monstrous creatures who have tails let me know down below if you read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting anything else you can leave me a snake emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all